Alright ladies and gentlemen, I know it's a tad bit of poor lighting today. I'm filming this video somewhat late this Wednesday, but I want to film it just once again, continuously spread more awareness and just, you know, I just am in a mood to keep on filming new videos. Because I haven't been doing that for the past few weeks because once again, my, um, a few weeks ago or about a month ago when I did the update for my iPhone, um, the update uh, took the YouTube app off of my phone. I haven't done the newest update because I don't know what that's going to do, but... Um, I, I've had to transfer some of these uh, videos to another phone that hasn't gotten the, um, the, the second to last update um, yet to post the newest ones that I posted over the last uh, week um, so I can get those up online. Um, once again, ladies and gentlemen, um, I understand when you look up and down this YouTube channel, you will see vast majority of videos that haven't got even over, you could say, five or ten views yet. But then some other views that have gotten you know 50 60 40 views you know or even over 100 uh once again i understand the growth of this youtube channel has been vastly you know up and down somewhat even slow over the last few years but i'm thankful to god that once again i still have this central hub for all my stuff and you know it's still been a blessing um and i rest assure you that once again if you've ever met me in person, you know, once again, who I am, what I, re I represent, and what I'm trying to continuously do to shape our better tomorrow in 2019. I definitely believe in 2019, this is a revolution that's coming for everybody. Once again, one of the top reasons why is because, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, like, go back to the video that I posted about a week ago that said, stop relying on politicians to save you. Because I'm resting assured, or rest assure you, a lot of people have done that. They relied on politicians to save them, which is one of the top reasons why you know, a, the, a lot of our communities are where they are today because they're relying on the politicians and upper management of government. And I mean government as in your local go government with mayors and et cetera. They're relying on them to help save you. Again, I really want to help uplift as many people in 2019 to realize you got to stop waiting for that. I understand there's some things that, they're, that they are responsible for with your health and well-being or your housing or whatever. There's some things that they are responsible for, but for the most part, you got to stop relying on them to save you as a whole. That's why a lot of a lot of people are still stuck in poverty because they're relying on the government. I mean, their local go go government that is to help save them entirely. You can't rely on your local your local government to save you entirely. I'm stuttering. I'm talking so fast. I'm stuttering. But you you can't rely on your local government to save you entirely. You gotta lift yourself up. Learn how to lift yourself up and educate your own self and build a house and family and foundation for yourself. You have to learn how to do that in 2019, which is one of the top things that I through my travels I'm gonna help. I'm going to learn from other people and what they've already done and help give them these ideas and let's see what we get with them. Because I'm telling you, 2019, a lot of revolution can and will come because I'm resting assuring you that, you know, we are better than what we are or we're better than what has been reported here and there. A lot of people have, like I say, you know, when you see the vast majorities of how faith, the religion and God and et cetera have been, you know, spread and I mean the most negative ways because I'm resting and assuring you, the world is filled with people who lie to themselves about who God is, who Jesus is, what religion is, what faith is. They lie to themselves about all those vices just so they can keep themselves in their struggle. I rest assure you, especially for the veterans that we have out there on the streets. I've literally posted it on my Snapchat multiple times and literally spoke about it even on my Twitter account, tweeted about it. Ladies and gentlemen, we can do a lot better in 2019 than what we've ever done in our country and a lot better than we've ever done in the world. But you have to stop relying on the politicians to help save you. You have to pick up your own self, pick up that Bible, go to church, and get saved, get baptized today. I'm in the City. I got baptized this past summer, um, June 22nd, 2018. I'm more qualified to say that than ever. Go get baptized, get in church, get saved, do what you got to do to get these vices to help you, your, yourself, help with your community, and be that beacon of hope for your community. Because I'm telling you right now, 2019 should be that cutoff year that we stop relying on our, poli our local politicians to help save us. They're not going to save us, or at least in the way in which we want them to. As fast as we want them to, they're not going to save us. you got to stop relying on them and save us. You have to, I'm telling you, you have to do what you got to do to organically make your own better tomorrow. Pick, again, even if it's little tiny steps here and there, you got to try something. And I want to travel around helping empower people to do that. Because I'm resting assuring you, I do believe 2019, we can all live life as a bunch of happy, healthy human beings. We can. But you have to put in the time, the work, the energy, the focus, and the creativity to do so. Put the creativity to the pen. Put the pen to the paper. Draw up these 
battle plans. Draw up these blueprints and build your creations. Like build your empires, build your houses, build your your foundations, build your communities up and lead. Lead, ladies and gentlemen, lead. I'm saying all this once again because I'm searching up and down my YouTube channel looking at various sources of inspiration that I've recorded over the last few years. Very thankful for my YouTube channel overall. It's a blessing. Thankful for the you know wisdom that I've spread out there to the world because I really want everyone to understand this. This is for the further advancement of all people. Everything I pretty much say and preach on a daily basis is for the further advancement of all people. I want you all to realize that when I drive around certain or when I've driven around certain cities and certain states in the past and I've seen all these poor neighborhoods, all the broken down, this broken down, that fences, etc. And definitely when I, as I look up school reviews, when I look up all these poor school reviews, because a lot of schools are absolutely failing our children and not doing their jobs. I was assure you when I look these things up, it makes me halfway want to vomit because I know our schools have, they've, they've, they've failed our children and they can do a lot better than this. The schools can do a lot better than this. But once again, you have to have the people in the schools that give a darn about their jobs. Like, I'm not even joking. I've read so many school reviews that have literally told me their school is filled with a bunch of uninspiring teachers. And that's just, again, that's what the review said. But, I, but I'm literally going to tell you I can't fully de deny it that there are a lot of uninspiring teachers out there. But I honestly can't fully understand how you go to school for four years to get that degree and you're still uninspiring as a teacher. I don't fully understand that. But a lot of crime and corruption goes on in our public and private schools. We need to clean that stuff up, ladies and gentlemen. We have plenty of time, 2019, I mean plenty of time is in, God willing, you know, as we wake up every morning, let's do what we can to help truly build this better tomorrow for our families, for our children. Because I really can't tell you how many commercials I've literally seen, particularly within politics, that are targeting our families and our youth. Not to say that it doesn't make sense, because it makes all the sense in the world. That's one of the top reasons you, you get into politics, is so you can fight for families and fight for the youth. But the problem with that is, how many of those commercials are actually telling the truth, and are actually spreading more awareness, and actually helping people get better, and so forth, and so forth, and so forth. You like, how many of those are actually doing what they got to do to help, for the further advancement of all people, all people uplift themselves and get better? I'm just saying that the evidence is there. Who truly cares about the children versus who just uses, you know, these commercials as clickbait and or as pawns for, uh, what's it called? Uh, pawns to get elected, you know, uh, emotional something. Uh, I forgot what it's called, like emotional marketing or something like that. I forgot what it's called. Uh, but the point is, once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nathaniel Joshua, NJ to the City of Williams. Once again, um, born and raised in Jacksonville, Florida, and definitely over the last few years, even though I uh, now reside in Ponte Vedra, um, over the past couple of years, I've seen a lot. I've heard a lot. You know, and Jacksonville, last time I checked, is the number one uh, most, um, it has uh, number one most dangerous city in our state. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a vast problem. It lets me know that a lot of people have skipped out on church, neglected God, you know, don't read the Bible. And they are spiritually lost. I'm telling you, especially if you follow my Snapchat, and I'm probably going to post these screenshots late, later on for song covers. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the top things I'm trying to do is I'm trying to help our, our the youth and the, our families literally in these decade-old excuses for why they're still living in poverty. In these decade-old excuses for why they're still, why they're still living in poverty and why they are un, unable to get, you could say sometimes, get out of their own way. Because I'm telling you, rest assuring you. You have all these commercials, particularly for the ones about going back to school for your degree. Ladies and gentlemen, you have a lot of people out there who have sacrificed their time to go out there and better themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, whether it was getting a second job or studying harder. Ladies and gentlemen, now I'm not saying I was the, I was the most, you know, proactive studier in high school. But I can rest assure you that, you know, I got through all glory be to God and I made an impact in my school and I'm very proud of that impact. And I rest assure you that whenever I talk to other students, one of the top things I'm letting them know is, hey, keep your GPA up, especially towards your senior year, because the last thing you want to do is put yourself in a position that I was to be a fifth year senior. Now, fifth year senior, once again, was all blessings. Trust me, it was all blessings, but not everybody's meant for that because not everybody carries themselves the same way that I do. Not everybody has the same goals, dreams, desires, passions, and morals with integrity and spiritual discernment as I do. 
many various things that I just want to cram in there with that sentence. The point there, ladies and gentlemen, is that I definitely believe in our I believe in our future in 2019 to live life as a bunch of happy, healthy humans. You know, who truly do love thy neighbor as thyself. But it all depends on your bottled mentality at the end of the day. What are you buying into? And I once again rest assure you that with a lot of our communities, they have to start buying into, you know, I would say, um, what's it called? Um, they have to buy into uh, investing in themselves, taking the extra sacrifice, and um, getting that second job, getting take take, take an extra sacrifice, going to church here and there whenever they can, and ask people for guidance and help. You know, one of the top things I rest assure you in 2019 that I want to help expand within all platforms. I want to expand church counseling. I want to expand youth groups. I want to expand so many things because I'm telling you one of the top things I'm doing in 2019. I'm holding a lot of our churches and our church leaders more accountable than I ever, than they ever probably have been accountable. Like, I'm not saying this is not the mainstream holding you accountable. This is me, me going to you, talking to you, having rational conversations and asking you, what is this? Why is that? What are you doing? Because I really want people to understand, particularly within, you know, local neighborhoods, wherever you are, that you have to want to do better. You have to want to do better. You have to regain the trust of the public so the public can feel safe coming to you for help, wisdom, advice, discernment, etc., etc. You get the point. I'm telling you, the churches are more responsible for the health of our communities than ever before. At least that's what I centrally, corely believe because I'm a very Jesus-oriented person. And if you were to ask me, the spirit of the church lives within me, literally. I'm not saying that, you know, I've been the most proactive church goer in recent years. Because I haven't, but I can rest assure you that my my the spirit within me has grown through just living life and the blessings manifesting in my life, showing me that God is alive and is working within my life. And I'm just resting assure you that the spirit of the church lives within me. Because every single time I see church, I'm like, I I just think of I just think of the beautiful, warm atmosphere. I mean, I like because even when I walked into church at times in the past. Like I say, it, it, it is that spirit of, of like I I feel a spirit. I feel a, a I feel like you because I feel live. It feels lively, warm. It feels energetic. It feels like it's supposed to feel for me. You know, you you, you could even say it feels like the spirit of Jesus. <laughs> I'm just saying because I'm a very Jesus oriented person and I do believe the spirit of the church lives within me. But I'm definitely telling you that I believe that that the I believe that. Our churches are within our local communities. I do believe they are more responsible for the health of our communities than ever before. At least that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold more churches accountable because I do believe that they are one of the top pillars. And that's not to say that everybody is supposed to be super religious. But it is to say our churches, particularly for St. John's County, St. John's County has the largest homeless population in the entire state of Florida. That is a deep shame and a disgrace for my state. And I rest assure you that I want to help change that in 2019. And we're not going to help change that by putting up tent cities. Tent cities are a national disgrace, especially for military veterans. Especially for veterans, military veterans, etc. They are a national disgrace. I'm talking to multiple people, multiple people that literally tell me or try to agree with me. Military veterans should be taken care of for life. They should not be living on the streets like that in downtown St. Augustine and etc. Et I love all the new building that that the, the county is doing in St. Augustine and Ponte Vedra over the years. But we need to also make sure that the people who are living homeless are being accounted for. Not just people who have the money. People who have the money need to invest in the people who don't have the money so the people who don't have the money can do better for themselves and aren't living on the street, aren't living in poverty anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what I'll tell this video, but I can rest assure you, I'm looking up and down my YouTube channel, and once again, I'm very blessed for the gifts that I have to preach, to teach, to mentor, and be people's role model and mentor. Big brother. I love it, and I rest assured in 2019, we're taking this even further than what we ever have. It's the start of a revolution. It's the start of a movement. It's the start of more. Because this is more, this is real, Jesus Christ salvation oriented above all things. We're going to help build this up together.
Once again, God bless. More videos coming soon. Take care. Your boy, the man, Angel to the City. Out. Peace.